Florida leading the nation in new COVID-19 cases, many parents and teachers are understandably concerned about the start of the new school year. Students in Broward go back to class this week, and today we got a tour of the safety measures they will have to follow as we learn of a shortage of school bus drivers. Local 10's Hatzel Vela is live in Coral Springs with more. Hatzel. And Nicole, when you talk about that school bus driver shortage, uh, it's a problem we're seeing not just here in Broward, but also down in Miami-Dade and really across the country. Meanwhile, here in Broward, teachers getting ready for the first day of school just two days away. Cleanliness is very important to us. We spent some time inside Forest Hills Elementary School in Coral Springs. And of course, hand sanitizing. A tour with Principal Barbara Rothman, who shows us and tells us about protocols in place for the first day of school Wednesday. Sanitation stations, touchless water fountains, COVID-19 tracing logs in classrooms, and signs everywhere to remind students about mandatory face coverings. Our purpose here is basically to keep them healthy, to keep them safe, and to maximize their instruction. Broward Schools is one of a handful of school districts throughout Florida that is requiring masks in the classroom, defying the governor's executive order, which says masks should be optional. Here in Broward, they know some will refuse to wear them. Each school will deal with it as best that they can handle it. And, you know, at the end of the day, we want our students to learn. Two days before the first day of school and teachers continue to rework the classroom layout. We are spacing out the kids and making sure everybody has their own independent supplies. Amid rising COVID cases, and hospitalizations, concerns, of course, remain over school outbreaks. How many positive cases come in, the contract tracing, and how we you know, how people get quarantined to make sure that we don't have a spread. Another challenge in Broward and across the country, lack of school bus drivers. As of today, Broward County needs 180 drivers. It's the salary, the rate of pay. Linda Lewis from the union that represents bus drivers says not only are bus drivers not paid enough, they're leaving for more competitive jobs with companies like Amazon and Target where they get better pay. We've got to get competitive. We have to. And a union rep down in Miami-Dade tells us they need about 105 uh, school bus drivers. Means in Miami-Dade, in Broward, school bus drivers will have to take on more routes and likely work longer hours in order to keep up with the demand. For now, reporting live in Coral Springs, I'm Hatzel Fella, Local 10 News. That very high demand. Thank you, Hatzel.